Welcome back to the big board. <clears throat> so we check in. I've played, oh, what, three, six turns, something like that, thereabouts, of the scenario called A Bridge Too Far from the Tactical Combat series, TCS. Uh, this particular module is called Screaming Eagles in, Eagles in Holland, and it has been very interesting and surprisingly bloody uh, because of the op sheets. And if you recall, I, I posted a video a couple of days ago and we talked about op sheets and how I would set up two or three plans for each side and I would roll for both sides. Usually I just roll for one side, uh, but I roll for both sides to kind of keep uh, both sides honest and, and not be immediately reacting and uh, to, to, to whatever's going on, right? So the Germans enrolled and they, they, their mission was to come through here to take Kempkins and then they had a secondary or alt plan to then move on to Schoperenich, which is Schopenreich, I think it would be pronounced here. Pardon all the uh, anti-Euro uh, pronouncing of words, just deal with it. Uh, so that was their main plan. And then the first battalion up here, their job was to send one company this way into these woods to sort of provide some uh, overwatch or supporting fires here. But then two companies would come around these woods and towards the canal, along the canal line and try and uh, capture this bridge with the follow on action to take uh, the other bridge up here, far up here, which is worth one BP as well. Uh, <clears throat> plans were foiled in the north just by these scout cars. And I think, I think I'm playing with the scout cars and the armored cars correctly in that uh, soft or what I would call, I would call them soft, but uh, area effect weapons are not able to do much to them uh, because they have a point defense number of, of one. You probably can't see that, but there you go, one. So that was there somewhere. Uh, <clears throat> so these, <laughs> these scout cars and armored cars have done an amazing job in, in two respects. One, spotting for artillery which has uh inflicted uh let's see uh, nearly 11 steps of damage here out of about uh a hundred so about 10 percent casualty rate uh the armor cars themselves have also fired at units and they've done uh, a bunch of damage too so very effective uh Second battalion, as I mentioned, had this uh, had this mission to run run through here. Well, with the die rolls for the game plan for these guys for Lima Kilo companies of three twenty seventh glider battalion, along with the attached uh, Royal Tank Regiment elements that dribble in over time, their mission was to conduct a counterattack. <laughs> And so they were headed this way. So we had a bit of a media engagement here. Uh, the Germans had a two turn head start set up in Kempkins and Appenhof here and really, really put it on uh, the, the Allies pretty hard. Uh, I was feeling like I'd really made some big mistakes. Uh, but we managed to get enough unsuppressed units with lines of sight to start putting some artillery down. They were very effective and you know, these guys are all uh, SYRs, right? They all retreated. Actually, no, this was an artillery shot coming from here. So he was able to spot into here somewhere. Sorry, off screen there, there's an armor car up there. Uh, we got a bad shoot on these guys, but roll really well. Uh, so that was helpful. Uh, the We managed to counterattack into here. Killer Company did a great job, uh, rushed this area the the overwatch shots didn't weren't ineffective they got adjacent then assaulted it was epic uh lots of good narrative coming out of that action tough little battle here we took significant step losses the first assault that went in we lost uh well there's a guy here that should have four no one of these he was supposed to lose half where did he go i've cheated maybe it's not here unless I moved him back up already. Alright. I probably did it wrong. Oh, I know. That's why I caused half of the total steps and I ended up killing off an MG unit, I think. 
Um, one of these probably should have one more step uh, of, of losses there, but that's neither here nor there. So what's happened here, though, with 2nd Battalion, just to try and net this out, I didn't really want this to be a super long video, is that of, you know, we've lost nearly 15% of our total attacking German force, but the majority of that has been here with, uh, I think, 20 steps lost out of 1st Battalion, plus two of the tanks, plus a uh, 75mm gun, uh, and the German uh, uh, formation now has finally uh, dropped off its orders, which means it's going to have to regroup and do its thing. That's going to kill it just from the perspective that it's going to be, it's going to be, it's got to execute its failure instructions. So it's going to move away, which is going to be back into Ida, which is left, uh, left of screen, back over here, right? here uh <clears throat> and then you know we're in tr so we're in trouble without that armor these guys were very difficult to shoot at i had to fire four uh, like a combined not a combined volley but putting a weight of uh, four units firing at this guy is how you can knock out uh a panzer five more effectively right uh these little dinky 30 57 mils aren't going to get the job done unless there's a stack or, you know a huge stack of them and i'm loath to uh have them in a stack uh sort of floating around by themselves so what am i saying <clears throat> the germans have uh let's count the turns we're at 12 end of 1240 starting 1300 one two one two three have four turns left to make this distance close assault across into here capture this bridge take the other hex side do the same over here up north uh, right there moving west to east it's just not going to happen and while I uh, I appreciate some folks like to play all the way through the bitter end that's not me but when we can see the writing on the wall and I'm playing solo there's really no point in continuing unless something magical is going to happen. We're going to play out the 1300 turn. If something magical happens, <laughs> we will, uh, we will re-engage more, more vigorously, but we're just, we're doing it to sort of round out the, uh, the exercise. Fantastic job with the, I think the, the plans, you know, different plans would have had very different results here. So this is a, this is a scenario that if uh, I didn't really want to get uh, a most fearful sacrifice onto the table, that I would immediately reset, set it back up, use uh, two different plans, and go for it again. Uh, it, this is played, there's not too many units on the board at the start. Uh, you know, the Allies really don't do much movement here. We, we jiggle around a little bit here and actually pushed across the bridge because they're not in prepared defense. Pushed across the bridge. This is the easy company for five or six. Uh, uh, pushed across here and uh, and attacked those guys just via fire, but I uh, put two steps on them and paralyzed them. Uh, but I've set this up and go again. It's a great scenario. You get to use the armor and the AT guns, combined arms thing. The only thing that was confusing for me was that there were no pioneers that allow me to blow bridges. So I can't get the full VP total. Uh, I, uh, I can only get uh, the capture VP totals, which makes it very, very difficult for the Germans to uh, get much better than a minor win unless they prevent the exit provisions occurring, which I discussed in the last video. You can go listen to that if you want to. Uh, that's why it's called a bridge too far, right? Uh, it's a bridge too far for the Germans, not for the, uh, not for the Allies. Excellent stuff. All the best. Roll some dice.